Welcome to Canadian Quarters Review. Today we're at Banner Recreation and Marine in Vernon, BC, Canada, and we're checking out this 2022 Can Am HD10 Defender XMR. If you're into mud bogging, this is quite the machine. Stick around. So this guy will have 82 horsepower, 69 foot-pounds of torque. It is the Rotax engine. It's 976 cc V-twin motor. It is liquid-cooled with a strategically positioned air intake. Sounds kind of neat. It will have uh, intelligent throttle control, ITC, and electronic fuel injection. It's going to have a Pro Torque CVT transmission with a quick response system. All these little gadgets that it comes with just for better performance. It's got an electronic belt drive protection and a lower gearing ratio for your low gear. And high airflow ventilation with strategically positioned CVT air intake. There we go again. So it's got an extra low high neutral reverse and park. So when you're talking drivetrain with this thing, you're going to have a selectable turf mode, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, trail, and four-wheel drive mud with exclusive smart lock technology. Smart lock, if I remember correctly, is a front locking diff that you actually have control over and can lock it in full time or leave it in the normal uh, selection for it to come on when it feels it needs to. It will have electronic hill descent control and it will have some eco and work modes on it as well. And of course, as you would expect, it has the dynamic power steering that Can-Am is well known for. So for suspension, on the front you're going to have an arched double A arm with a sway bar. It'll have 25 centimeters or 10 inches of wheel travel. You're going to have a twin tube gas charge shock. Your rear suspension is going to be an arched TTA with an external sway bar. 25 inches or 25 centimeters or 10 inches of wheel travel and the same shocks on the rear I'm surprised that with all the fancy smanchy stuff that can has they don't have any piggyback shocks on their stuff yet So when we're talking tires, it's going to be an ITP cryptid And it's a 30 by 9 by 14 in the front and a 30 by 11 by 14 in the rear and of course your 14 inch cast aluminum rim really sweet wheel package. Not going to need to upgrade that anytime soon. And obviously the ground clearance is phenomenal. When we're talking brakes, you're going to have a dual 220 millimeter disc brake with twin piston calipers in the front. You're going to have another 220 millimeter disc brake with a single piston caliper in the rear. It's got a brake holding mechanism. So I'm not exactly sure what that is. I'm going to have to do some research on that. So you're going to have a 211 centimeter or 83 inch wheelbase. You're going to have 38 centimeter or 15 inches of ground clearance. That's amazing. Your estimated dry weight is going to be 770 kilograms or 1600 pounds. Your cargo box capacity is going to be 554 kilograms or 1000 pounds. Your tailgate load itself is going to be 113 kilograms or 250 pounds. That's amazing. It's got a great towing capacity at 1134 kilograms or 2500 pounds and the entire payload is going to be 680 kilograms or 1500 pounds. You're going to have 40 liters or 10 gallons of fuel which is great and seating capacity for three. It's got a couple of different niceties in there too. You're going to have uh, two lighter style type DC outlets, one in the console and one in the under dash storage. It's going to have 140 watts of lighting output from the front. You've got four 35 watt reflector lights. It's going to have a wide beam on there as well, and they are LED, so you're not going to be needing to up 
upgrade those anytime soon. It's got a 4,500 pound winch. That'll be perfect with synthetic rope. It does even have adjustable steering. You're gonna have a heavy duty front steel bumper with an HMWPE full skid plate and aluminum rock sliders and mud guards. And of course your two inch receiver. First glance, this is an amazing machine. Built really well, being Can-Am, designed very well. So if you do want to have some fun in the mud, you can. But it's still a workhorse too. Love the color scheme. Lots of room inside. Some new switches. Check out the snorkel package. Pretty sweet. Even the seats look sweet in here. Got a wicked box size in there with tie downs in each corner, which is nice. And down here is your lever. Awesome. Lots of power. There's your shocks and stuff too. Well guys, that about concludes yet another one for Canadian Quarters Review. So appreciate you guys being here. Thank you for clicking on the video and checking it out. Hopefully it didn't disappoint. Come on down to Banner Recreation and Marine in Vernon, BC, Canada. Tell them I sent you. And come check out one of these for yourself. They're fantastic people here. They got even some product on the showroom floor. And uh, yeah, just a great place to do business. Anyway guys, I'm out of here for now. Going to go enjoy the rest of my Saturday, probably out on the water. And we will catch you guys on the next video. Thanks again for watching.